Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unboxing to do today and this one came to me via Creating Craft uh, TV from craftbuddy.com. Uh, this is the other part of my order where I got my Nutcracker figurines. Uh, the video is in my playlist if you want to go and check that one out. And yeah, I thought you might like to have a look at these as well. And these have come in a box. So let's get them out of the bag. And and we'll get them out of the box. So I have opened them because I was looking to see whether I got my free gift or not and I didn't. <laughs> um, still don't know why I didn't get it, but never mind. I didn't get an answer from Craft Video, unfortunately. Okay, so, which job it's recycling tomorrow. This is actually a triptych and it is three paintings of 40 centimetres by 22 centimetres. Let me see if I can get it the right way around on the boxes. Uh, you can't quite see it, but it is two robins and a little cottage in the middle and like a very snowy, wintry scene. And I've been looking at this one for a long time, but it was, I think you could get it for 39.99 or sometimes a little bit cheaper um, on the website and on Creating Craft. Because um, they were normally like £15 each for each of the canvases. They are three separate ones. They will work alone if you just wanted the one. But uh, I think if you're getting them, you might as well get all three. Anyway, they had them on special offer. And I got these with my club discount as well for £19.94 for all three. So basically, what's that about? £7-ish each. So yeah, I thought they were pretty good. I mean, pay £7 for a 40 by 22 canvas that's already stretched on its frame is a very, very good deal. So yeah, it would have been rude not to. So I do like my bargains, you know, I like my bargains. So let's get into these and have a look. And I thought with them being a bit smaller as well, if I start sort of on this Robin, um, if I only get this Robin done, then he'll look very nice on his own. Uh, but if I get one of the others done, I'll probably do the cottage next then it will make a bigger picture and that will look nice. And if I get all three done, brilliant. But if I don't, at least I might get one done for this Christmas. <laughs> that was my thinking behind it anyway. Oh, that's gone in a bit. Let me just grab my scissors and just get underneath this. Don't want to break my nails. I'm just trying to grow them a little bit again. It's not working brilliantly, but it's better than nothing. I've got loads of treatments on my nails at the moment just to encourage them to grow a bit oh there it is look on the back that's your little picture it is quite an old one this it has been out for quite a long time at least two maybe three years um but yeah it, it's very very pretty and i do like the uh, fact that it's in three separate bits as well just makes it a bit more versatile okay let's have a look at that number one side of the left hand side yeah it comes in the lovely packaging i can't fault craft buddy on their packaging um not quite sure why they put handles on it's not really necessary to be fair i know it makes it look a little bit sort of posher and it does make it feel like you've got a present but yeah uh, it, it's it's not really necessary i don't think anyway just my opinion so let's have a look at this one we've got actually one of the new toolkits in so I say they've been making this one for quite a while. Right, there's the opening. And they are normally true to size, so we'll give it a measure in a bit. They are resin crystals, so they tend to have a few more facets and sparkle just that a little bit more. So I'll have a look at one toolkit and then I won't look at the others because they should all be the same. Uh, we've got our generic leaflet, which tells you how to diamond paint uh, in several different languages, usually six different languages, yep, and uh, contents there as well, so if you're buying it for a present for somebody, brilliant. Uh, you've got your little key code is on the back to cut off, and this one has, I can't read upside down, 24 different colours, and it looks like we do have two AB coated gems, so 907 and B5200. Oh, I hope I've got some of those left. I need 907 on my big picture. It'd be nice to put a few ABs in with it. <laughs> and yeah, the white 5200. 
um, they are DMC numbers that they put on the key code down the side there. And then anything with an AB next to it is your Aurora Borealis. It's where they put uh, a coating on your drill and it just make it sparkle extra. You get like an oil and water type effects, like the Northern Lights kind of effect. So yeah, and looks like we're all numbers and letters. So the key the drill fields are usually very clear and that one is exceptionally clear. That Robin's gorgeous. Look at that, look at all the colors on that. There's one, two, three. Is there four different colors on that Robin's front there? That's brilliant. And then we've got all your berries. These look a bit like rose hips, don't they? Uh, oh, sorry, you can't see it. <laughs> it's because it's long and thin. Don't put it on my desk. <laughs> Uh, and then your holly at the bottom there and all the snow scene but he's a very puffed up isn't he little robin keeping warm looks very cute so I'll give it a quick measure i'll only measure the one because they are normally true to size as i say on the canvases and it is yep 40 centimeters which is 15 and three quarter inches by uh, just about 22 and a half, uh, 22 centimetres. I'm looking at the plastic rather than the canvas, <laughs> which is about eight and three quarter inches. So, and what I like with these is you've got your edge here. So there's like a gem width where there is no diamond painting, there is no gems. And to be honest, it just helps the gems stay on. I find if they're right up to the edge, um, particularly if it's pre-framed like this, then you can catch them and the gems can come off. So just having that little bit of a border going all the way around uh, just saves your gems. And it just makes it look that little bit more interesting as well. They're like a hard board. I think that's like MDF. And then this is like a, a wooden frame that they're on. So it is set all pre-framed. So literally you just diamond paint these and they just go straight on the wall, which is excellent. So that's our pretty little Robin. Let's have a look at uh, this, this set. Let's see what we've got in here. So I will just look at the one because they do tend to be more or less. Sorry, you won't be able to hear me over the crinkling. Um, they do tend to be more or less set the same. A lot of the newer kits now, I don't think you get in the little pot of wax. There's two little circles of wax there with the little coating on, so that needs to come off the top first. But it's quite a cute idea, just having a little pot of wax. And once you've used that, you can put some more of your own in. I do like the fact that it's got a lid on because it does stop it from drying out because the waxes do dry out, particularly in hot weather. You've got your two single places with that gorgeous uh, foiling on there, that purple foiling saying crystal art. And then two of the old style three places, but they're very good for picking up, you know, larger gems, or you can pick up three at once because there will be quite a bit of multi placing on this, I think. Yeah, there's a few of the M's there, and then your little pen grips, which at the moment we don't need here because it is so warm, it's awful. So they just slide on there, and it just gives you a little bit more to hold on to it and it's a bit softer on your hands and then we have a little flat bottomed white boat and a standard boat but in white so yeah they're uh, pretty good their toolkits as i say i must admit and you get about 20 grip seal bags we did have a blip actually with one that we opened a while back and we had about three or four bags on but i think that was a blip because all the others do seem to have your uh, 20 bags in uh, very handy. Okay, let's just pop those back in there. What did we say? We had 24 colours. Yeah, 24 colours. Pop that away in there. So these gems, have a quick look at the colours on this. If the colours are all more or less the same, then I won't go through the colours on all of them. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see if they are all the same. Okay, where do we start? Oh, okay. Oh, so we're not in uh, sort of capital letter order. We're in a different sort of order. So, all right, no problem. Ah, right, we've got the two ABs 
the two specials at this end so we have the white so it's like a nice clear white if you want to know what color um an ab gem is an aurora borealis gem it's whatever color is on the bottom of the gem and then the coating is put over the top so that one is your gorgeous, gorgeous bright white with the iridescent coating on and that one is that gorgeous 907 green so let's say i hope i've got a few of those left over so that I can use them on my huge painting that I'm collecting drills for. Thank you, by the way, for all the offers of drills. It's uh, very much appreciated. Thank you. And then we've got a dark winter green there. Look at that, very dark. And then a little bit of a mint green, not a peppermint cream green, but it's uh, a minty green, a sort of orangey red colour and a bit of a burgundy colour. Oh, and another peppermint cream green and a grass green. And a sort of very muted, oh no, is that beige? I was thinking it was pink, but no, I think that's beige. And a brown colour, and a blue, baby blue, and a denim blue, and a pale blue, and a little bit of peachy orange, and a bright orange. I think these are all for the robin. And then that's like a, that's like a pale stony colour. And we have another green and a nice bright red and a brown and a darker brown and a darker brown and oh a very dark red and oh what colour is that one? I think that is possibly Did it tell us what's in? Let me have a look. And oh N is 310. Yeah, the ah I've started it at the wrong end look. This one starts at C and then A is at the end. <laughs> so, and then like that uh, lemony, slight green hint colour at the end there. So yeah, nice gems, look nice and clear. Um, I, I must admit, I've not had... Put these away. Yeah, I've not had problems with craft buddy gems. So, you know, they've always been pretty good. Uh, thinking this will actually be uh, specific to this painting. I'm just looking to see actually. Oh, it's there. I'm just saying I can't see the key code, but it's this great big thing up here. Yep, yeah, so these will be gem specific to this painting. Um, unless you're gonna match up your DMC colors, possibly a letter K on this painting won't be the same gems as the letter K on the next painting and the one after. Uh, I think this will be a bit like the greetings cards that they do, where each pack of gems relates to that canvas that it's actually with. So yeah, each pack of gems does have that number on it. So if you do get one pack of gems separated um, and out of a different way somewhere, then uh, yeah, you will still be able to match it up if you just look for the code number on the back. It would be handy actually if it was on the key code as well. But anyway, I'll sort that out once I've got these looked at. Okay. So let's have a look at the middle one next, which is the a little cottage. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty enough just to have on its own as well if you wanted to. A great packaging, a great box again. Let me grab my scissors and just get underneath there. I can't be doing with. Oops. I don't want to break my nails. That's it. Come on, up you get. Just talk amongst yourselves while I just open this. <laughs> That's it. Got it. Okay. Oh, this one's fighting to get out. This one's having a bit of a fight. I think that's the handle on the box. Sometimes it gets caught on that handle. So, okay, let's get into this one straight away. So, exactly the same toolkit and the little pot of wax as well. So, it looks identical so a nice little toolkit great as a present for somebody these as well that's definitely um an ab coated an aurora borealis coated there that one could be as well so we'll have a look at the key code yes yeah, standard leaflet there again and then we have our lovely little cottage 
so very pretty with all these snowflakes in the background that's just i don't know i don't know about you but i used to draw if i drew a house when i was uh sort of in primary school uh, he used to draw a sort of a squarish house with the roof on and the chimneys i think man only used to have one chimney though and then the four windows and the door in the middle <laughs> and then we've just got our lovely winter garden gate down here again with our berries and uh, the little wreath on the door and it's got some little topiary pots either side of the door there as well so very very nice very nice sort of they're not really in your face bright colors they're christmasy colors but not too bright so yeah i think it's one of those that a lot of people would like i mean you could even do three of these and give uh, one to three different people see whether they notice that um if they all got together they'd have a painting that matched <laughs> So yeah, this one is uh, 22 colours and it does have the 907 and the 5200AB the same. So it is the same as that one. Let's see if the colours, uh, yeah, you can see, look, 165 on uh, the first canvas is uh, a letter C on it, whereas 165 on the canvas on this one is a letter A. You would be able to swap the gems about, but just be careful with the lettering because they are different letters for each uh, DMC code on these. What have we got? 912 on this one is a letter R and 912 on this one is a letter K. So they are gem specific. Uh, yeah, but the only, actually the um, AB one, the white AB, the 5200 is actually J, the same on these, but the 907 is T and the 907 on that one is F. So yeah. Oh, but that goes, gives me a good chance with two of them having uh, the uh, the 907 number. I might be able to get some space. Yay! That'd be really good to use on my posh painting. Okay, so... Right, I'm not going to go through these colours because um, other than the two ABs, which you have seen already, I think, yeah, you can see we've got the greeny one there and that one. The colours are pretty much the same colour palette as the others. We've got your blues and your greens and your little bit of greys and uh, this sort of like lemony greeny colour there. And yeah, you, you like mocha colour there, so they are more or less the same. So, and again, your code on each packet of these drills matches in with your code on your canvas, so you're not going to get them muddled up. Okay, so then it's the last one, which is the robin on the right. So let's get this one out. Just press it down. I should have used my tweezers really rather than my scissors, they'd be a little bit thinner. But hey ho. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. <laughs> and this is the robin at the other side. And he's sort of like, where is that robin's up there on the left? This one on the right, he's down at this side. So he's got quite a bit more greenery with him and just a little bit of the sky. Okay, so let's have a look in this packet. See how many colours we are. Where's the end? toolkit again with a little pot of wax there. I do like the little pots. I like little containers. Dinky little doodahs. Okay, so that's our gems, our resin drills there. Okay, looks like we are uh, the green again. Is that white in AB though? That one possibly isn't. Or it might be. Let's have a look. So standard leaflet, generic leaflet again. And this one, oh, we're back to 24 colours. Oh yeah. And we are, oh, actually, <laughs> um, the 5200AB uh, is the letter J on all of the canvases. So that's good if you wanted to do all three at once. Uh, but all the others are different. And this one is a number 5, 907, uh, again, is the AB. So we've just got the two on this one. And let's have a look at all of them together. I'm not going to go through the gems on this one again either because they are all more or less the same colours. So, yeah, all your nice Christmassy scene colours there. Greens and blues and reds. And just those two AB coatings. So, we have a Robin there. 
just move my tape measure out the way. Otherwise it's not sitting flat. Rob in there. So oop, and the tool kits are deciding to get in on the act as well, sliding over the top. I don't know. What have I got under there? Gems. Oh dear. Right, definitely need a bigger desk. So that is your whole scene. So as you can see, your holly leaves and your tree there and the leaves coming across there. So it's up to you how near or how far apart you put them. Um, I think I would probably leave about half an inch uh, in between. Depends what they look like when I get them on the wall. Actually, that's not quite lined up there, is it? No, this one is actually a little bit lower down than those two. Ooh, that's interesting. So when I put them on the wall, yeah, because look, that's got to go there. So we have actually got, let me just show you. You can see at the top, if I line all the leaves and everything up at the bottom, there is about half a centimetre to a centimetre at the top there. And at the top there, that's just not quite lined up. Mm. Okay, that's maybe why they were on special offer. Although they didn't say that they were sort of seconds or whatever. Let me show you the bottom, see if I can just get this. Yeah, if I line that up there, yeah, you can just sort of see there's just that little bit where it's just slightly out. Does it go across that way? Does it go there? I think that's possibly there. But it's just not quite level. I suppose it is quite difficult to do, to be fair. Uh, let me just line that up. Yeah, it's more marked on that one. So, but yeah, if you're separating them out to put them on the wall, then I suppose you're maybe not going to notice quite so much. But anyway okay i'm uh, not overly bothered i don't think you'll really notice when there is the gap in between them it would only be if you put them really close up and you'll suddenly see there look that that line isn't lining up but yes i think they're very pretty i think that's my bargain buy uh getting each canvas for like seven pound ish each well just under seven pound each with uh, all the gems and all the little toolkits and everything and pre-framed so yeah, I won't have to go hunting around for different size frames for these because they are already on a frame and they will look very pretty. And because they are Christmas ones, once I've done them, I will seal them uh, because they do need a good seal if they're going to be put away for next year. Uh, with the best will in the world, Hubby's not going to let me keep these out for next year. <laughs> have them on the wall all year round. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Um, if you have, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for all your lovely kind comments and questions. I do uh, love reading them and I do get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget, if you want to subscribe to the channel and join our little family, you can do that by pressing this subscribe button down in this corner. And then if you press on the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when all my videos come out. So you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.